Recently, I was talking with the candidates who are attending for cloud and DevOps interviews. When I was talking with them, I understood that industry expectation is this level, but candidate skill is this level. They know that there is a clear gap between what industry is expecting, but they are not sure how to fill that one. For that, is there anything I can do? That's what I was thinking and I did two to three weeks of research and I found out a four step approach. Hey guys, my name is Ravi Shankar from Velaxi Technologies. In this video, I'm going to give four steps which you can follow to clear the DevOps interview. Let's go and see those. So in this four step approach, first thing is figuring out DevOps tools list to focus more. Nothing but there are various DevOps tools. Learning all does not possible. But on which tools you can focus more so that you can clear most of the interviews? That is what you need to know about it. Next thing is once you have finalized your tools, you need to do projects which can give more knowledge or skill on above tools. So whatever tools you have finalized in the step one, you are going to use or need to practice those in the projects. So I am going to give a couple of projects which you can do. And by doing that, you can easily gain the knowledge on the tools which is required for the current market expectations. Next thing, how can I promote my profile to get more calls? Learning skill is not sufficient in the current market. You must know how to promote your profile also. That is what I'm going to tell you. I will give a couple of tips. How can you promote yourself as a DevOps engineer to get more calls? Next thing, how can I consistently learn until get a job? Now, once you have uploaded your profile and you are getting calls, you started attending the interviews. How do you know that whatever answers you are giving, those are correct or not? Who will review it? So for that also, you need to find out your solution. So I'm going to tell you how you can able to do that. Now I'm going to discuss about the step one, figuring out right DevOps tools. So in this case, if you see a list of the tools, these are the list of the tools. We have multiple steps over here. So we need the cloud as a AWS or Azure, infrastructure as a code, as a Terraform, Docker as a containerization, container orchestration, Kubernetes, scripting, Python, next uh, source code management, Git, GitLab, Next to CI tool, this is a build tool, this is code analysis, this is artifact repository, this is configuration management, this is monitoring. So these are the list of the tools which we require for a complete CI CD pipeline. However, by avoiding few of the tools, still you can able to face the interviews without any problem. Okay, those are especially the list of the tools which I mentioned over here. So by avoiding these tools, okay, still you can able to face the interviews in the same level because very less questions will be asked over here. So the tool set, what you need to finalize is this one, okay? So choose one cloud and uh, infrastructure as a code as a Terraform, Docker and Kubernetes. Docker, you don't need to spend much time, hardly a uh, couple of commands and uh, how to write a Docker file would be sufficient. Then scripting, then uh, version control system, then CA. So by learning these tools, I can say that 90% of the questions you can answer easily. 90% of the questions will be covered only from here. It could be 100% also. But one more advice is without Terraform and Kubernetes, don't attend the interviews. Don't. Okay. Because nowadays this is mandatory if you are going for the cloud and DevOps role. So make sure that these two skills are included in your profile or you are going with these two skills. So these are the tool set which I can recommend to learn it. For you, it might be different. If something is different, please, please comment out in the video. I will just look in and if needed, I will guide you. Next thing is projects. Now we have figured out what tools we need to learn. On those tools, we need to do the projects. Okay. So first thing is three-tier architecture on AWS or Azure. As I am mentioning, it is a cloud and DevOps. So it could be AWS or Azure. But you should do the three-tier architecture. By doing three-tier architecture, you need to do the web layer, application layer, and database layer. So you will come to know that how the three-tier architecture will work and how one service can communicate with the other service and what and all tools are involved. Lot of things you will come to know. And you need to use at least 15 to 20 tools so that you will get a very good grip on the AWS services level. So you must do this one though it is a manual. Once you have done and you are comfortable with this one, then you need to do the same thing with help of Terraform. By doing the Terraform, you will come to know that how it is easy to manage infrastructure as a code. Though it is going to be taking longer time initially, but later point of time, you can 
use it you can easily provision it easily destroy it all these things you can do so you must do the other project with the terraform especially three tier architecture as you have already done it manually if something goes wrong while doing this one you can easily figure it out however whenever it is necessary please take advantage of the ai okay our uh, uh, expert who is sitting next to us or in the laptop so take their help especially chat gpt next thing deploy microservice application on eks cluster so make sure that you are deploying a microservice that to multiple microservices on eks or aks especially in the kubernetes by deploying that one you will come to know that how different microservices work how it can communicate one with another and also different kubernetes components also you will come to know to make it work by doing this one you will get a good control of how microservices does work and even kubernetes does work next thing you can set up an end to end ci cd pipeline using these tools okay by doing this one you will come to know that complete ci cd pipeline however we we can avoid such kind of tools like ansible even uh, monitoring because there will be a always dedicated team for the monitoring in most of the companies so do this one and i have this project on udemy okay if you need i am going to give the link in the description of this video please check it out for this i have already a video over here but that is old if you really needed uh, this project videos please comment out in the uh, in this video i will try to make these videos as soon as possible and publish it okay so please let me know if you really needed it all right so once you have done this project you will get a good hold of the tools which we mentioned in the step 1 once you got the skill then we need to do the profile marketing while doing the profile marketing okay you need to write the linkedin articles then what can i write if you have such confusion you are already doing the projects right which i mentioned in the previous step whenever you are doing that project you accomplished something you try to put it or convert it as a document and uh, publish it as a article by publishing it you are going to write it in the way where others can understand which means that you are thinking logically that how to express that in the interview that is one thing another thing is you are ex expressing that you are a devops guy so that is another advantage apart from that you are also going to build the connections with the hrs and other experts okay so that also you need to do added to this one for your profile weightage i would recommend to go with the certification if you ask me does it really needed to work it is not required but uh, uh, at this moment i mean to say current market conditions if you want to improve your profile weightage you need to do at least aws or azure or kubernetes certification by doing this one you can attract more interview calls but i don't uh, recommend that you need to spend months together to clear the interview there are some ways where you can easily achieve it you know what do i mean so try to get the that help and uh, get the certification and even that can publish in the linkedin so that it will be helpful to expose your profile uh, little more okay by doing this one you you can market yourself and you can able to attract more calls next thing once profile is built and you you are marketing it and you are getting the calls then you need to still learn it it doesn't mean that okay everything is done i don't learn though you are getting a calls you need to continuously learn it so while learning what you need to do is let's take that you have attended interview some questions they asked you answered it but who will review that whether it is a right answer or not so try to connect with the co learners as friends nothing but who are doing the devops job search you can find it uh, in various locations go and connect in the online forums linkedin so whoever is ready to connect with you try to create a group with 5 to 10 people you can discuss among yourself what kind of interview questions they are facing you are facing what you answered whether it is right or wrong what improvements you can do so that you will come to know that how better you can answer for the same interview question if they are asking going to ask in the future by doing that one you no need to learn all the topics because few other might be learned and they don't they know about those topics very well vice versa might happen so connect with the people who are uh, doing the same thing so that even you don't need to fight for the interview alone you are going with the group so that you will gain more advantage next thing is yeah i discussed interview questions discuss answers regularly you can connect with the team try to create a whatsapp group or telegram or even online meetings you can join and you can discuss it next thing take mentor help so if you are having a mentor the advantage is you can save lot of time if you struck up somewhere you don't know what to do you can take the mentor help and you can able to come out quickly so you can save lot of time 
So I'm trying to come up with a mentor program. If you are really interested, I'm going to give you a form in the description of this video. Just to fill it out. In case such kind of things are there, we will communicate with you. Next thing, mock interviews with AI. Taking the interviews with the AI is really going to helpful because the opposite is a not human being so that you can talk whatever you know and they don't judge, right? AI doesn't judge you uh, like other people. So you confidently attend the interviews. I'm testing one of the uh, AI tool which can take the interviews and DevOps. It is working fine, but I, need, I still need to do a lot of research before announcing it. Even I might make a dedicated video on uh, how the interview is happening with AI. Please stay tuned. I can publish in the LinkedIn and on our YouTube channel. Next, learn from AI. Just make use of the AI whenever it is needed. Don't wait somebody's help. Okay. It is already an expert who is sitting next to you, but you need to ask the question properly. Nothing but whenever there is an expert, how do you ask a question? Similar way, you need to ask your question to the AI. Then only it will give the right answer. So take this help. By doing all these things, I'm sure that you can able to clear the interview within two to three months. So I'm going to repeat the four steps. First thing is uh, list out your uh, tools where you need to focus more. Next, do the projects on those tools. I mentioned the list of the tools as well as projects. Then market your profile from the day one itself. Whatever projects you are doing, how you are doing, what are the challenges you have faced, how you have overcome, all these things just to document it. So that whenever in interviews, if somebody asks, you can easily tell that what challenges you faced or how you have set up. Next thing is, Learn continuously, connect with the people who are already searching for the jobs, take their help and you and you can help them. Discussing among yourself will help everyone in the group. That's how you need to focus and put your efforts. You will definitely get your job on DevOps. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. And if you feel that this video is helpful for your family members or friends, please share with them and I'm going to come up with a lot more good content. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.